Hey, how's it going? So I just wanted to do a quick update about all the things I've done in my van since the last video I did, which was repairing rusty scrapes on the ceiling. And that was one of the most important things I needed to do first, which I did. So I did quite a few other things, such as install a little kind of ba very basic subfloor um, and, uh, and a few other things. I'll just go ahead and make a few separate videos and show you all the things I've accomplished so far. Anyways, happy springtime and check it out. Thanks. I removed the side curtain airbags on each side of this van. They ran from the front all the way to the back of the van because this is a passenger van. And after I removed the airbags, I put these little resistors in the electric plug for the airbags. And what this does is trick the trick the airbag light from coming on. And this actually worked. I only paid a couple bucks for these res resistors. I needed four of them. So that worked out well. After removing the seats and the original subfloor, I was left with all these holes in the floor. So I said, what am I going to do? I decided to plug the holes with some of the original bolts. And I patched some of the other open holes. Uh, with a turnabond tape and um, I had to buy some um, similar size bolts to uh, patch holes that didn't go all the way through the floor because you know there's quite a, a gap difference when re re removing the subfloor so I bought these stainless steel bolts and they don't rust which is good and these bolts the black strong uh, bolts they go all the way through the floor of the van and they're exposed to the elements on the bottom. So what I also did was I sprayed them with galvani galvanizing compound on the bottom to prevent corrosion and rust. I repaired the broken rear door handle on my van. I only had to buy this part to fix the problem and now it works fine. I went pretty basic with the floor of my van. I got two half inch birch sheets of plywood and I found really nice wood wood floor look uh, linoleum or vinyl flooring I found sheets of this for 75% off believe it or not and it turned out pretty nice um, I also painted the bottom of the, the plywood with semi gloss paint just to prevent mildew in the future and I also used the scraps of the plywood as you see to level out the floor with the ridges of the van and I use liquid nails to adhere those to the floor. I don't plan on insulating and I don't plan on securing the floor to the floor of the van. I'm just gonna let gravity do its work and hopefully all my belongings will hold the floor down. That's just I'm very basic with things and I want to be able to in case of an emergency like insects or a spill I want to be able to lift the floor up and do whatever I need and be able to put it back down. That's pretty much it for now. I think uh, this week I'm going to start putting in my ventilation fan. Anyways, thank you so much and till next time.